Voices impart invaluable information. If your environment allows it, you should adjust the volume accordingly so you can hear our voices. Dear Liddy, hey there, how are you? Me? I'm doing swell. I know I promised that I'd pay you a visit soon. But unfortunately, some urgent work has come up. I also know I said I'd buy the thing for you, and I tried. But when I asked, all they said was, do you really need it? So I'm at a loss. Gaspard isn't coming. And he tried to buy the thing for me. But he was thwarted. Likely by someone from another faction. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to delay that purchase for now. The plan is still to procure it as soon as I get a chance, though. So please be patient with me. Fine. That said, I sent you some ice to make up for it. Feel free to use it however you wish, okay? All right. Don't mind if I do, Gaspard. <laughs> Finally tracked you down. Good grief. Young lady, you're not permitted to leave the manor by yourself. I still have some things to do. <sighs> Stop being so selfish, will you? You'll get us in trouble with the master. Don't mention that man in front of me. It's sickening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? I told you, I still have things to do. Look, if you keep screwing with us... I'll take action. <laughs> you think you can scare us off with a couple of toys, huh? Well, what action? Wait, those things aren't just toys? If you're scared, get out of my way. Stupid brat! Looks like you need a good beating. You just want to let off steam, don't you? It must be frustrating having a boss who treats you like dirt. Shut up! I'm up against multiple hostiles. I better keep my bullet count in mind. Just hold down the trigger to reload. Right. This'll work. I built these, so I should know how to use them. <sighs> so much for that action of yours, huh? Stinky weapons pack such a punch! Wait, is that an Imperial reactor you're charging him with? This is the Federation! How'd you get one of those? Guess the Master treats his kid better than I thought. He didn't give this to me. I made it myself. 
Enough of your pathetic jokes. As if a spoiled girl like you could do that on her own. I know he's the type of man to send thugs to drive me home. I didn't think they'd find me so quickly. Still, I'm not about to go back just because he said to. I don't care how many people he sends after me. I've got things to do. I need to reach the primordial beast. My homemade reactor just passed its first field test. Didn't know I can handle that much myself. If I get pinned down in close quarters, I'll be in trouble. Best to keep my enemies at a distance. If they get close, they can overpower me with ease. I mean, talking about a kid against loners. There! I can't rush this! Getting enough nutrition for it. I'll start seeing the results any day now. At least, I should. Hmm? I haven't seen you around before. Not much for tourists here, I'm afraid. There isn't? No. As you can see, it's nothing but houses. Walsbald's main attraction is the bazaar. It's a little way south of here. You should go there if you haven't already. Thanks for the advice. The Hazar Bazaar's quite bizarre. Oh. The, uh, pun not intended, I swear. Kara, provide us with your guidance as always. May the primordial beasts be with us. Fervent believer, huh? I owe Sankara my very life, you see. It's not the easiest thing living here, but it's nice to be this close to Lord Sankara. Oh? Sankara! Sankara, the Aquarian Lord. A primordial thought of as the guardian of the Hazar League. That's right! It's humongous! You've gotta see it! You're a traveler, right, miss? Have you seen any of the other primordial beasts? No, I haven't. But I know what they are. And also, I might know their true nature. Um, miss? Can't expect any help here on. No one's gonna go easy on me because I'm a kid, either. Small as I may be, I have to fight. If I don't, I'll either die or get taken back to him. Which means, I won't get the chance to prove my fear. Rechecked my calculations. That room. Can you even call it a room? It's a gloomy old storehouse. And I lived there my whole life. No windows to the outside world, except my books. Those days are over now. 
My theory is based on a major premise. And I need to see the primordial in person to make sure. If that premise proves true, my journey will begin. I'll leave this land. Get away from that man for good. Yes! Can't rush this! There's no doubt now. My theory is correct beyond a doubt. It's alive. But these readings, they're clearly lower than my estimates of what they once were. They're declining. But at what rate? Is it constant? Or if not, could it be somehow accelerating? Well, either way, the limit's close. Or... We're at it... now. If only I had past data to work with. I could learn so much more if I did. Hello, young lady! <gasps> Your clothes look expensive! Kirin, you must be right. And if I am? If you behave yourself and hand over everything you've got, then we'll let you off without anything worse. I got no interest in kids. <sighs> Can't rush this. Punishment. <sighs> what a horrible country. It's hot, and swarming with criminals, and that man's in control of all of it. I've already verified my theory. So my business here is finished. even try to take my books. They're heavy, and they take up space. And thanks to my absurdly brilliant mind, I'm able to memorize any book just as soon as I've read it. Got my nutritional non-perishables? If I keep eating these, I will grow a bunch. Now let's see here. Okay, I'm set. With my reactor pistols, I can use multiple ammunition types. I can switch ammo whenever the situation calls for it. Right. Swap ammo, just select the type of shot you want to use. It's the same move for any type of bullet. Talk about ingenious functionality. There's nothing inside.
Where do you think you're going? Are you refusing to address me, or have you forgotten how? It's no wonder you're such a failure. I am not a failure! Well, you failed to prove useful to me in any way. In fact, you're a parasitic pest that I never should have left here. You're the definition of a failure, whether you see it or not. Still, there are some dilettantes who are interested in such junk. Lucky us! I managed to find a buyer for you. What kind of reaction is that? Didn't you know you were on sale? Thought your shade core friend would have let you know in a letter. <laughs> Did you think that your actions had escaped my notice? Or were you hoping that I would let it slide out of fatherly devotion? No, I was... I... <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up. You may be used as someone's plaything, or as a guinea pig. It'll be of no consequence to me once you're sold. So you think parents can do as they please with their kids? Ha! <laughs> Don't be stupid. That's not what I think at all. I can do as I please, simply because I am me. Don't associate me with your ridiculous justifications. They disgust me. In that case, I can do whatever I want to. I'll seize that right! Ha! <laughs> Go on and try. Assuming that you can, of course. No way is there anything he can do that I can't. After all, I am a genius. Sure, there are lots of them. That's why I keep multi-shot ammo. With this, I can blow you all away at once! A failure to the end, and after all I did for you. Are you really trying to throw away all the work I did? Haggling with the Federation and the other group in search of the right buyer and the right price. Your selfishness knows no bounds! You're a product, all right? I'd rather not rough you up before the handover. But once I get my money, your fate will cease to matter. Just don't let your death cause me any trouble. You understand? <laughs> Shots rare. Valuable, too. I'd like to avoid wasting it when I can, but... Oh, well. Locked on! Target locked! All right, now to get out of here! Oh. You built yourself some weaponry, did you? How pathetic. Are you really too incompetent to catch one little girl? Catch her before she can leave the city. Yes, sir. Hmm. What could the Federation and that other group want with her? Strange, the girl's nothing but a walking disaster. Get away. As fast and as far as possible. He said that he plans to sell me. My own father. So, I shouldn't be surprised. That's the kind of man he's always been. From the day I was born, up until now. And that's why I know for sure that he'll pursue me with everything he has.
bugs in my way. This won't be easy. Taking them down one at a time will take me way too long. Which means I'll just have to clear them out with a grenade. I'm a genius, so naturally, I predicted this kind of situation would come up. You don't want to get hurt. Get out of my way. What? Quit spouting nonsense, girly. Oh, I almost pity the poor fools. Almost. Don't say I didn't warn you. Can't rush this. Barricades don't look too sturdy. Maybe I could just blow them apart with another grenade. Reloading. Done. They sure did put a lot of junk in my way. They must really not want me to leave. They said I was being sold to either the Federation or the other group, whoever they are. I doubt that either buyer would treat me well. I have to escape. If I fall into their hands... I'm a genius. I can do it. I have to do it. I can't rush this. They just don't give up, do they? No matter where I go, they follow me like a swarm of flies. The sheer number of people that man employs. It's no wonder he gets to do as he pleases. All thanks to the dirty money and influence he's amassed. <sighs> oh, this is insanity. To think that so many people would waste their lives for money. Serving his pawns for that man. Yeah. That was too awkward. Yeah. 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 I'm just getting started. I'm pretty sure that the pleasure district is just up ahead. That direction looks kind of dangerous. I should go around instead. A lot of people here are connected to that man. Actually, it's better to assume the majority are. I should avoid talking to strangers here. If I keep going this way, I should reach the Pleasure District. Guys over there. They must be his men. I should look for a different route. I'm hungry, Dad. What are we gonna eat? Well, I just bought some yogurt at the bazaar. So how about my famous spicy yogurt rice? Really? Awesome! Spicy rice. Um, nothing. I know! You want some of my dad's cooking too, huh? N no I... I just haven't heard of that dish before. I see, if you aren't familiar with it, you must be a new visitor to the city. Then let me teach you a classic Walls Bald recipe. Your family's gonna love it. Trust me. Bye. Family. Thank you. Most people are at the bazaar during the day, so the pleasure district should be empty right about now. This 
should work. The city's so unnecessarily large. You can see why it's called Hazar's Commercial Capital. I've read about the Hazar League. A nation of sandy wastes worshipping Lord Sankara. The people of the League revere wealth and profit. A massive amount of gold is exchanged in the city each day. Not all of it is clean. The perfect place for that man to gain status and power. And there! Yeah! Tradition at the bazaar, eh? Ah, yes. They ought to have something good there. Living in a trade city does have its advantages, you know. Uh, pardon me. Shit! Don't talk to me right now! If I get caught moving, I'll lose! Oh, that sounds like a weird game. You can play with us if you want. Mm, I'll pass for now, thanks. I don't know much about the outside world. Mostly just what I've read in my books. It might be more perilous than I could have imagined. But even so, I'd rather face the world and be sold by my own father. There, kids, be careful. Watch where you're playing. Are all of these kids yours? They sure are, and boy, did they keep me busy. Sounds rough. Well, at least there's never a dull moment. For better or worse, they're my flesh and blood. So, of course, I love each and every one of them. Hmm. That's nice. young lady. <laughs> I don't recognize you. Are you a traveler passing through? Y yes, I am. Ah, I see. Then welcome to Wolfsbald. If you turn right from here, you'll hit the Pleasure District. But the bazaar's more fun during the daytime. It's full of goods from all around the world. Just watch out for pickpockets, okay? Thank you kindly. Anyhow, all this running around and fighting has made me hungry. I am a glowing girl, after all. It's a natural biological reaction. Hmm, what should I do? Some non perishable foods I brought along. But I should save them. There's no telling what the future may hold. The food is in value. I better make sure I keep a good stock. This is nothing. Get 
too slow. So this is the Pleasure District, just as I thought. There aren't many people around right now. There's still so many of them. Frontal Assault Time! This charge laser. The more powerful as I continue pressing the trigger. It packs a punch. There's not much ammo. Time to blow you all away. Here it is! Discharge! the last of them for now. I don't hear any reinforcements coming. Alright, now's my chance to head for the station. If I take a train out of the city, there's no way they'll be able to keep pursuing me. Is there? can't afford to underestimate that man. There's no telling how far his influence extends. He's a terrible parent. He did build his fortune all by himself. Furthermore, he's the father of a genius. There's no way he doesn't have a plan. He might have staked out the station already. Actually, he might even be in contact with whatever station the train is headed to. At any rate, I'll need to be careful and check it out first. If the station's a non-starter, then... <laughs> hmm? Are you lost, little girl? No. And I'm not a little girl. Oh, I'm sorry then. You look like you're my younger brother's age is all. But he's kind of shy and clingy, not as independent as you. I don't see anything wrong with that. If someone loves you, you should cherish it. Careful not to get caught up in all the commotion, okay? My reactor still seems to be in fine shape. Didn't get much chance to test it before using it in combat. But it's performing exceptionally well so far. Good. 
hadn't worked as well as expected. I doubt I'd have made it this far. I gotta hand it to myself. I really am. Making an imperial weapon all by myself. So, I'm a little worried about it. I just have to make sure I keep it maintained. Can't rush this! Yeah, you're too slow. That was too obvious. This is beyond this gate. Travelers come from all over to get a glimpse of it. But I've lived by it for ages, so it doesn't do much for me. <laughs> Hello, young lady. What? I have a special deal for you. For a mere 50 gold. Actually, just for you, I'll make it 30 gold. What are you talking about? <laughs> just hear me out, okay? The stuff I got is great for keeping you healthy and pretty. If you try it out, I swear you'll feel amazing. Wait a minute. I'm talking about nuts! Bizarre nuts are packed with nutrients. They even improve your rest. Eat them and you'll sleep like a baby. No, thank you. I can see the station from here. Once I board the train, I'll be able to get out of Hazar. I can't let my guard down until then. But that man might come after me, no matter where I go. If he does, how long will I need to keep running away? The rest of my life? Forever? No, even if he keeps trying, this can't last an eternity. After all, this world's already... It's rare to see a girl like you at the station. Yes, I'm traveling. On your own? That's even rarer! Honestly, I'm impressed you even made it here alive. The lands outside are crawling with beasts. Even merchants like me have a hard time with them. But a kid like you? Now that's a surprise! And you really came alone, didn't you? Amazing! Well, I am fairly strong. I'd say you were lucky more than anything else. Take my advice. If you have a home, go back to it. For your own sake. I appreciate the unsolicited advice. But there are some things even scarier than beasts. I'm about to melt here. Yeah, I already miss Izamil's climate. But we've just got to visit the bazaar. 
Yeah, and the oasis too. I've heard that it's so pretty. We gotta get our money's worth for those train tickets. But we'll have to write it back too, huh? I hope our rear ends can take it. Sorry, nobody's allowed past here. Why is that? We have some construction equipment laid out. It's dangerous. Nothing a girl like you would care for anyway. Well, I kind of do care. But if you say so. Getting on, miss? Yes, I intend to. Well, hurry up. We're leaving soon. Over there! <laughs> Those men, they're after you, right? In that case, you better board quickly. Come on! Why do you want me to get on so badly? Uh, I can't ignore a young girl in peril. And why did you automatically assume they were after me? Huh? I'm not the only person here, you know. Why did you assume I was their target? You're a sharp kid. Well, whatever. Guys! Get her! That was a close one. If I had boarded that train, I would have been cornered with no chance to escape. I'm guessing that the thugs who came after me on foot didn't know about the trap of the train. Luckily, they caused that guy to panic and tip his hand. They accidentally saved me. I still have my special nutritional drink. Didn't want to have to use it yet, but... Oh well... I'm better suited for intellectual pursuits. Definitely not physical labor. Still, I can't keep using that as an excuse. Maybe I... should work out. Couldn't hurt, right? It's not like I'm flabby. These are just a woman's natural curves. Regardless of that, I need to get stronger. At least strong enough to protect myself from that man. I can't use the train station to escape anymore. Hopefully, he only got off the conductor. But when it comes to him, I have to assume first. The entire train company could be in his pocket. He's got hidden assets all around the world. After all, he's the chairman of the Delacroix Company. It's within the realm of possibility. No, in fact, it's more likely than not to be the case. Even a man as powerful and influential as him would still need time to reach me outside the city limits. So I should be okay, as long as I can make it out of the city. I'm 
just getting started. the desert on foot, but I can do it. I have to do it. I can only go so far on my own. If only I had a companion I could trust. I should head to the bar. That would be an ideal place to find myself some help. Traveler, the bazaar's over that way. You seem to be in a good mood. Oh, can you tell? Today is my child's birthday, actually. Your child's birthday? Is that really such a joyous event? Well, maybe a girl your age wouldn't understand. But there's nothing in the world that makes a parent happier than seeing their child grow. So, I'm cooking a feast tonight. Oh. That does seem nice. Hello. Do you know where the bar is? Bar? You mean where grown-ups go to drink? Just go straight. Then turn left after a while and you're there. Oh. Um... Getting close. All right, thank you. Wait, you're not going to drink there, are you? You can't. You're still just a kid. I don't need a little boy like you to remind me. But that's not the only thing a bar is good for. business connections all over the world. But his base of operations lies within the city. Well, I'm sure he has eyes and ears all over Wall's Wall. His influence must wane outside of it. So once I'm out of here, there will be fewer people chasing me. Well, the next group he sends may be assassins. Discharge! I'm just getting started. Here it is! There! Are you the young lady I've been hearing about? The one who escaped from the manor? <laughs> Please wait. I'm not going to hand you over. But your pursuers are already in this area. So be careful and get out of here, okay? But why? Not everyone likes the chairman, you know. Hurry up and get going. Don't let yourself get caught. Thank you. Pleasure District is up ahead. It's like a dreamland. Good food, fine drinks, and the prettiest girls ever. All those babes around me. <laughs> you 
You really like visiting the Pleasure District that much? Well, I've never actually been there before. Huh? That's why I said that it's like a dreamland to me! Oh, if only I had the courage to speak to such beauties! Um, I need to go. Would you actually send assassins? Yeah, you're definitely capable of it. Even if the target is your own daughter. I never once heard you use my name. But it isn't worthless, brat. We're total failure. It's Liddy. That's the name you gave me. Father. Please, call me by my name. Hey, kid, it's over! We're done chasing you around! The Master's gonna skin us alive if we don't bring you back quickly! So just come with us nice and quiet or we're gonna have to hurt ya! There's so many of them! That doesn't mean I'll just lay down and give up. I need to prove my theory. I can't let myself get caught here. nutritional drinks wearing off too but I can't give up I'll have to just find a way to deal yeah. I'm just getting started. Yeah. Mana. Blast off! Target acquisition device. It's over now! I'm just getting started. Target acquisition device engaged. Stay still. I'm just getting started. You there. You're a little different from the others, aren't you? I can feel it. Your goal is to me. You're trying to kill me, right? You're with the shit. members of the Shade Corps are the same, I guess. Gaspard could have given me some warning, at least. That there were people like him. I've never fought against anyone seriously trying to kill me. First, 
down. And now the Shade Core? I've got too many enemies. Better hire a bodyguard that I can trust quickly. I have to hurry to the bar. I need a companion. Someone who can protect me from my enemies. No. What I want is more than just a bodyguard. I want someone to travel with. A person I can share my thoughts with. That reminds me. In his letter, Gaspard mentioned something about ice. I wonder what he meant by that. That said, I sent you some ice to make up for it. Feel free to use it however you wish, okay? Ice, huh? Like from the Mias we iced him? Of course. So it's him. He's the one Gaspard wrote about. I can trust him. Also, if he really is Miyasui's former Prince Edward, I can be assured of his strength. He'll be an ideal companion. If I can hire him as my bodyguard, it'll be a major step forward in achieving my goal. I'm gonna find proof. Proof that this world of ours is ending. Next time, on Tales of Luminaria, Episode Lydia, The Creeping Darkness. This'll be a piece of cake. I am a genius, after all. <laughs> <laughs>